So what is up, Express Crew? I'm Steven. Let's see how we can actually save useful conversations with ChatGPT. So uh, ChatGPT, for example, there are many reasons you would like to save the ChatGPT conversations that few the references, easily revisit specific instructions, codes, snippets, or creative ideas. There's a sharing, there's a share complex explanations or research, summaries with colleagues, clients, or classmates, and of course, there's a documentation which we can keep a record of the project discussions or brainstorm sessions. Um, so there's a few methods. So the first method is by using your browser print uh, function. So the first thing we wanted to do, of course, is to the simple way, of course, to to save a ChatGPT conversation as a PDF is by using your web browser built-in function. So this works across uh, Chrome. This works across Firefox, Edge, and Safari. Currently, I'm going to be using Norton private browser and see if this one actually works for us. Basically, this browser works also as if it was a Google Chrome. So the first thing I wanted to do is to open the chat GPT. I'm going to sign in. Now that I'm signed in, what I wanted to do is to make sure to scroll to the very top and then always go to the bottom, of course, of the conversation. So I'm going to open my sidebar, my conversation. So the first thing is to make sure that I scroll to the very top, not to the bottom. Let's go to the top and then all the way to the bottom to ensure this entire conversation loads. So I have all the conversation working correctly, right? So once loaded, I wanted to initiate the print comment. And to Windows, it can be Control P or into a Mac can be Command plus AP. So in the print dialog box that, that appears, you can look for the destination or the printer do um, drop down. You can change this for the destination to save as a PDF file. This will be using the whole PDF information so I can be saving this elements. Now, uh, for a clear PDF, we can of course uh, click onto more settings. And here I want to look out, for example, for uh, I don't know, maybe the uncheck headers and the footers. I'm going to uncheck this and consider some surgeons, for example, at the margins and go for none. There we go. And now I'm going to hit into the option that says safe. So basically, uh, I wanted to make sure that I have hit now into this option that says pages, all the pages. So I can hit now into save and save now. Now I'm going to go directly into my files. I'm going to go into my downloads and double click into my PDF uh, file here. So as you can see, basically what this uh, actually did was like a screen saver of it. So uh, what I can do to try this out with the second method, for example, is to choose this option that says copy. So here into copy, what I'm going to be doing here is just to go all my way up. Here have the new save. I'm going to open Google Docs, for example, just to save my document. And once I am here into Google Docs, I'm going to hit into blank document. Now I'm going to just paste with my control V and you can see that all the actual conversation, I mean the latest conversation was actually saved in here. The other solution is to, I'm going to delete this tab, control A and delete, is to go here and tap control A. Basically, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. With this information, I have everything now um, copy and pasted. All the 32 information, even the chat history. So uh, whether you're up for the simple built in browser function, this can be helping you uh, in a very easy way. So what I can do now is just to give them a little bit of um, format. We need better stock photos. Here's the second number one. Here's basically absolutely everything. What I can truly suggest to you if you wanted to, for example, like export and here is my actual link. Usually this link, what you can do is just to make this chat discoverable, copy this link and paste it whenever you want to go back and check out your chat EPD chat and you can be having all access to it. When you have now um, a lot of information from your chat, what you can do is to always focus into this little element that says copy. So when you copy all of this, you can have this conversation and paste it. Then copy your answer and paste it before. 
And so on and on, you're gonna be having the exported ChatGPT element into your browser. And well, if you have a different method, you can let us know in the comments below. But so far, this is how I can help you with this structure. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Express for more quick tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time.